Hi, it's Adrian, and it's getting closer to the holidays, and um, there are just a couple of holiday palettes that I'm getting in that I want to go ahead and try, so I'm making a video today, and um, I thought I'd go ahead and start with uh, my base. I have the Uma by Sharon C. This one you can get at Walmart, and then the Pretty Fresh Concealer on. And that's what I have on for my base. Um, I did go ahead and use the NYX Thick It Stick It um, Eyebrow Gel and Light Ash Brown as well. And then the ColourPop uh, Glowing Lip and the Tower 28 uh, Cashew Gloss. So, yeah, that's what I have on there. As far as what I did for blush and uh, bronzer, I used the Flower um, Sunrise Bronzer today. And then with blush, I did the LYS, the Empower Shade. This is one of the colors that comes in their three-pack holiday kit. So uh, that's what I have on there. And then um, again, in an effort to go ahead and keep my blush on so that it doesn't uh, fade right away, I went ahead and put on a powder over it, which in this case is a Physician Formula Mavi Mats. So that, that's what I have on top there. And I went ahead and did the ColourPop uh, Flexitarian as well. So I had this on too. And then for finishing powder today, I went ahead and did the Catrice. And that's going to be the um, Sungasm powder. It's a pink powder, and that's what I used as finishing powder. I did go ahead and get in the ColourPop It's a Small World. And yes, it's a collab with Disney. And the ride, I remember the ride. I remember taking nieces and nephews who were four and five, and they were so excited about going to Disneyland. And there were so many things that they couldn't ride because they just weren't tall enough. Um, but It's a Small World and the train and the Peter Pan ride. You know, there were a whole bunch of rides that ended up being geared toward those little guys and toward, you know, the older visitors. And when you ride in between, it's great to have something that you can, you know, ride with everybody. And so it's a small world with um, all the music going on in the background and everything. So I have really fond memories of that ride. So, um, yeah, uh, this palette, um, I that was pretty pastel when I... Uh, first saw it, but um, I'm really excited to do more looks with it because these colors are blending together really well. And um, I went ahead and started with this one as my base. I went ahead and used this on the inner corner and right under the brow. I used this on the inner corner as well. Uh, this in the crease, and then I used this on the lid with... Um, this on the lid and then this one on the outer corner so i used basically this side of the pan and i really can't wait to do a look with all the purples and blues and these turquoise are so pretty so um i found the formula really nice the only shadow that i'm a little bit this one's really light and so i don't know i think i'll try to put a little bit more of that on okay it builds so, yeah, it just, it's one of those, it's a topper, and so, yeah, it doesn't have a lot of color, but you can go ahead and build it. Oh, and I use this one as an eyeliner as well. This way that the look came out, it's a really dark uh, maroon purple kind of look, and I'm, I'm liking it, and I'm... You know, trying not to get smudge marks on here. <laughs> but as far as uh, color swatches, I did go ahead and do some of those. And um, so I'm thinking that it's a really pretty holiday palette. And um, I think it'll be great in the spring because it's leaning, leaning more pastel. And you can definitely go ahead and do the turquoise, the purple, and the blue as a, you know, a springtime kind of look. And so I just was really happy to get it. And I'm really glad that I have it. And I would suggest if you want to pick it up, it's over at Ulta and also on the ColourPop website. 
and uh, that's my kind of look for today, and I'm really liking it, and I hope that you have happy holidays, and I'll see you later. Bye.